Anime fans, One Piece fans, what is good? The answer to that question, of course, is One Piece. One Piece is what's good. And today, we will be discussing which one is stronger, Armament Hockey or Sea Stone. Hey, so I was just thinking about this. You got fighters in the One Piece world that have Sea Stone or they have Armament Hockey, but which one is actually stronger, Sea Stone or Armament Hockey? That's what we're going to be figuring out today, so without further ado, let's just get into it. So if we're going to compare Sea Stone and Armament Hockey, we're going to have to list the qualities of both. So let's start with Armament Hockey. An Armament Hockey user is able to damage or touch a Devil Fruit user who otherwise could not be damaged or touched. So if you take a Logia user, like Crocodile, the uh, Sand Sam Fruit, then an uh, Armament Hockey Hockey user could touch the crocodile and would not just go through his body like sand and they can hurt him. And if you're taking someone like Loopy, who's rubber and usually can't be damaged by normal means, Hockey is able to damage him as if he were a normal person. Now, Sea Stone takes it a bit further. A Sea Stone user, if they have Sea Stone on them and can implement it in some way, can damage a Logia, they can touch a Logia, damage somebody like Loopy who's made out of rubber, but they actually stop the user from using their Devil Fruit powers all together and drain them of their energy. They just completely drain them and stop them from being able to use their devil fruit power as long as the sea stone is on them. That is because sea stone emits the same energy as the sea. So that's kind of a one up for sea stone, especially when you consider the fact that sea stone is actually either one of the hardest or the hardest substance in the One Piece world. So you might say right off the bat that, okay, then sea stone is stronger, but that might not necessarily be the case because we know there are many different levels to hockey and hockey, you can do things like hockey blasts and whatnot. Also, you got to take into account the fact that sea stone is very, very rare and very, very hard to forge. We know the Wano blacksmiths are able to forge it, but that's not every single blacksmith in the One Piece world. And it's just a very hard thing to turn into a weapon. So hockey, people use hockey a lot most of the pirates in the new world are being able to use hockey so that's not to say that every person under the sun can use hockey but that is to say that almost every pirate worth their salt that you're going to meet is going to be able to use hockey now hockey just standard hockey i think would lose in a clash to sea stone so if you got somebody who has hockey right say they don't even have a double fruit and they just use standard hockey to hockey up their fist and somebody has a sea stone fist say they're a cyborg like frankie and they have a fist completely made out of sea stone and the two clash Say they're the same strength, same speeds, just equalized stats, except for the two hockey fists and sea stone fists, and they clash. I think that the sea stone would probably win out, considering how heavy and hard the substance is, despite the whole devil fruit thing, because the hockey user, the supposed hockey user, doesn't really have a devil fruit in the scenario. Just the fact that the sea stone is so hard and heavy, I think unless the hockey user was super duper strong, it would be able to not really get around the sea stone the sea stone will be able to just crush the fist i think that sea stone is stronger in that respect but you also have to remember that there are many different levels to hockey so if you got something like ryle versus sea stone ryle would definitely win so which one is stronger or rather which one is more useful so is it more useful to somebody to have sea stone or more useful for someone to have hockey i would say hockey and here's why hockey despite it being more common has many uses armament hockey in, in particular we're talking about armament hockey not necessarily observation so of course as i said that level one armament hockey isn't really going to be able to get around sea stone in my humble opinion but if you're getting more advanced with it, like Ryo, or just more better basic armament hockey, just regular armament hockey, but just harder and stronger, it might be able to start to compete on the level of Sea Stone, especially something like Hockey Blast would definitely be able to compete with a Sea Stone Punch. And Sea Stone is very hard to augmentate, as I said, it's very hard to get under one's control, and it is very, very rare, even rarer than Hockey. The world government has so much of it because, well, they're the world government. But if you notice, people who are, are not in the world government typically don't have access to a ton of Sea Stone. I just noticed that in the story myself, so I'd say that hockey is probably better and more useful because if you're getting over the level of just basic armament hockey, 
Hockey starts to outclass Sea Stone in many ways. Like we know Sea Stone is able to be like forked from the nails. Basil Hawkins is able to throw the nails and stuff. But even so, it's kind of, it's just not quite on the tier of advanced hockey. And even normal hockey might be able to find ways to get around Sea Stone. And as I said, Sea Stone is so rare and hard to augmentate that it just is too much of a hassle. And hockey is just a better, it's just a better means to fight. So basically what I'm saying is regular sea stone can't even be upgraded like hockey. So just regular sea stone versus regular hockey, I think sea stone would win out in the end. Sea stone would be a little bit more powerful. But if you start to upgrade your hockey, sea stone becomes a little bit weaker. And as I've said numerous times, sea stone is just so hard to implement into your fighting style. Smoker sea stone staffs, they were probably very, very hard to come by. So that's my take on sea stone versus hockey tell me what you think in the comments below thanks for watching if you enjoy my content and only if you enjoy my content like this video subscribe and turn on notifications for more one piece content and i will see you in the next video